Well, Mossy, it's time to focus on some of the other sports happening at the Commonwealth Games, and I thought we'd have a look at ping pong today. I know you're a huge fan of the ping pong. Yeah, I think uh, ping pong is probably the second greatest sport in the whole of the Commonwealth Games. There's 17 of them, and ping pong's right up there. I'm a former uh, George Street ping pong championship uh, winner back there in Bathurst, 2795. Represent. And, uh, mate, how are we looking as far as our ping pong chances for the uh, Glasgow Games? Look, the stocks are looking very, very strong. And uh, one athlete in particular I had the chance to catch up with just this week is Glasgow Com Games ping pong medal hopeful, Henning Hu. So at the Commonwealth Games selection trials, you were up against Mossy. You seemed really nervous. Tell us, why was that? We've played a few times, but he's a step above me. I'm not sure if most of you know him, but he's around 60 in the world. He's defeated players like Oh sang and a lot of good players that are in the top 10 in the world. And he's, he beat them 3-love, and I played him in the 2008 World Junior Championships, which is my first. And it was, it was a lot of fun. In 2012, you were embroiled in Shirtgate. Tell us about that. In that match, we wore the same shirt, and I was stupid, stupid enough not to bring any other shirt that was of different colour with all international rules. And we flipped a coin to see for who had to change shirts. And then he, 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 he was the one who lost the toss, luckily. Otherwise, we didn't have another shirt. And, but it was a good experience, and I learned a lot from it, even though I got beaten pretty badly. Now, we always like to know about the breakfast of champions. Tell us, what do you have for breakfast? Would be Nando's, because I love it. 